Well, I really don't know what to ask you. So is there anything you want to talk about, Coach? <laughs> I'll stay away from politics for a change. I just want to know for my dinner later tonight, what compliments a steak best, a Cabernet or a Syrah? Do you get to go to dinner? My rule, I have to go home. They told me when the game's over, you go home, you have to stay home. And you get to go to dinner? Yeah, you know, or delivery, you know. Coach? Okay, if you're going to have hell with steak, go ahead. If you haven't had too much Syrah, go get a Penfolds from Australia. It's great stuff. Right. TNT you, basketball analyst Grant Hill did it the right way during his in-game interview with Coach Pop in Big Board Sports. <laughs> Houston's first game without James Harden turned out pretty good for the Rockets. Christian Wood had 27 points and 15 rebounds to help the Rockets rally past the Spurs 109-105 for their first road win this season. Spurs forward Kelton Johnson scored a career-best 29 to lead the Spurs' offensive attack. After the loss, he said, all you can do is move on. Uh, bounce back. I mean, it's the next game. We, we can't get this one back. It's over. So we're on to the, on, on to the next game, and uh, we're ready to go. Back to the drawing board. Uh, we can't stop about it. We can't be down about it. We just got to go out there and get the next one. Was there almost relief to have moved past all that? I wouldn't say it's relief because that would just be me putting it on one person. I don't think, um, you know, what was going on, our slow start to the season is all blamed on one person. You know, we all, at the end of the day, got to look ourselves in the mirror and see and ask ourselves, what can we do to better this team? Not just, you know, one person, you know, being traded. Not everything's going to click. That's not how this league works. Spurs will host the Rockets tomorrow at 4 p.m., looking for their second home win this season. Now, prior to tip-off last night, Spurs forward Rudy Gay was asked what he thought about the new and more stringent COVID-19 health and safety protocols that came into place on Monday that included staying in their hotels with no outside guests while on the road, wearing masks in locker room meetings limited to 10 minutes only, and wearing masks while on the bench during games. At the end of the day, it's about safety. Um, I think uh, that's the most important part, not just for us, our families, staff, everybody. And not just the staff and everything. We travel from state to state for the United States of America. We gotta, we all gotta do our part, and that's the way we're doing our part, I guess. Pro Football Coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. And the Philadelphia Eagles have asked permission to speak to Cowboys offensive coordinator Kellen Moore about their vacant head coaching position. This comes after the Eagles fired Doug Peterson and Moore signed a three-year contract extension to stay with the boys after he flirted with the idea and interviewed for the head coach gig at his alma mater, Boise State. But just because he signed his extension with the boys, he can still talk to the Eagles about a head coaching position. Educational sportscast. No crying in baseball, no sobbing in basketball. Yeah, you can't sob about it. Can't sob in basketball. <laughs> and a good Shiraz. Yes. It's good at the end of the game. Yes. There you go. Like or that. Probably a little too pricey for me. I don't know. Penfolds isn't that pricey. Oh, it's not? Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess I need to look so, into that it. That was a good tip. <laughs> Informative show. Yeah, so is SA Live. Always. Guess what day it is. Don't yes, know. it is National Bagel Day, and bagel. ooh, look at that, baby. It's We're going to be doing that. But bagels are more than just bagels and schmear, and Christy Swallow is here from Boss Bagel, and you have got, oh my goodness I have gracious. the Cuban sandwich. It's our special sandwich we're running this week. Ooh, that looks uh -huh. really Ham, good. Ham, pork belly, uh, Swiss cheese, homemade pickles. And there's a trick to slicing the bagel. We're going to learn all about that and some secrets to it as well. What we're going to be eating. Jen, what's going on? Yes, I'm here with Jada Rashawn. She is professional nanny, lifestyle expert, and we're doing all things Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yes. And that includes some fun crafts, right, Jada? Yes, we are going to have some fun, creative ways to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. I can't wait. And I've never seen these, by the way. And these are Colors of the World crayons and markers for all different skin colors. So I'm excited about these Jada and everything else too. Speaking of kids, Mike. You know, with kids you always want to keep them nice and fit, but so you usually say put down the phone. But in this case, there is a new app, really creative, that is going to help to get kids nice and active and fit. We're going to tell you all about it. Plus a makeover for a very deserving young lady. We have that coming up from a salon out of Universal City. Wait till you hear her story and wait till you see her transformation. I'm so excited about that. Always love those. <laughs> and we've got some really interesting video for you. A superhero outfit that a woman made. So you wanna know, have you ever done a superhero outfit? Or do you have a kid that was attached to something even? Cause Keep mine was the, the Batman cape. All right, all that and more coming up on SA Live. I had one of those too. 
Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Instead of thousands of people marching in the streets for justice, peace, hope, and understanding on Monday, many will be celebrating the life of Dr. King online. Right now, we have a web article with a gallery showing the evolution of the MLK March in San Antonio from 1968 to 1988, and then from 2009 until 2021. It showcases the front pages of several newspapers. To see the marches from the past three decades, just head over to KSAT.com. And I know some people are still going to go outside in some form or fashion on Monday, and the weather looks nice for it. It does. It looks very nice. In fact, we'll be up close to 70 on Monday. 61 degrees today. We're already at 60, so we'll be right there in the low 60s breezy this afternoon. It will get chilly tonight. 65 tomorrow, 64 Sunday. We mentioned great weather Monday, but rain chances kick in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Guys. Thank you, Justin. When Mike held that thing, I thought it was a donut. It looked and, like a donut. And, and the disappointment was <laughs> evident that there was no sugar involved. Well, it looked like, uh, I don't know. Some people love their but, bagels more yeah. than donuts. Well, they were making up those bagels pretty good. Look, didn't look bad. I guess it's a substitute. We'll find out, right? Now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, it's good. But first of all, did you see this? This young lady Whoa. made her own Iron Man costume. And this thing is no slouch. It has the little wow. mechanical little doohickeys in the back. Ooh. The face mask comes up. This is cool as can be. Of course, on TikTok, look at all the views she has there. Oh my goodness, this the, is amazing. The little laser beams and stuff like that. Where were you when my son needed a costume? <laughs> this lady, wow, that's awesome. Have you ever done Look at the leg. Thing? Okay, sorry, we're over here impressed here. No, um, I've never been able to make anything. <laughs> Anything, wow, for my kids, sorry kids. <laughs> but of course, kids get you know hooked on that superhero, yes, and like yes. you said, your son with the Batman cape? Yes, yes, he was attached to that, so uh, that's part of our social question today. He's Mike Osterhage, by the way. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky, filling Welcome. in Happy Friday. for Fiona today. Deja vu, when I was little, I had the Batman cape, and right up and down the sun, and actually an old neighbor called me years and years ago, he goes, oh, I remember you and your Batman cape. Oh, like, a little oh, Mike man. on his bike there. <laughs> his cape. No, it was actually a couple of years ago. No, I'm kidding. Um, and my kids had their, their cape, and all that yes. stuff so what outfits and uh had to do buzz lightyear wings one time for my kid too so of course you did yes, <laughs> of course you did yes we want to know what is it that you had maybe you or your little one that they were either attached to did you make it for them for me it was my son always had to wear his batman cape everywhere we went and then my daughter had the princess crown everywhere we had to take it everywhere so uh if let you us had know. children you know maybe <laughs> you had one as a kid too yeah, fess share, up i share did a photo. <laughs> Let us know at SA Live, he said, and we will uh, try and get, if you've got pictures, we'd love those as well. All right, back to the bagels. It is National Bagel Day, and there is one place in town that does things a little differently, but the right way. I tried it out a couple of weeks back, and you know, you got to boil these things first of all, and then you put them in, or at least they do, in a wood-fired oven, and let me tell you, Oh, goodness gracious. We are they super are excited. Yes, they look as, they taste as delicious as they look. Christy Swallow, the owner of Bagels on Southern Soil, or as most people know, Boss Bagel yeah. and Coffee. The coffee's mm. great too. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, it's usually my husband. I'm the backup singer today. <laughs> We're the happy real to boss. Have, happy to have the boss lady in the house. Yes. Interesting little factoid. You said bagels are the oldest and started in Europe, right? Yeah, so it's, it's National Bagel Day. So bagels actually started in Poland about 500 plus years. It's one of the oldest breads that hasn't been changed as far as how it should be cooked. And wow. you said they used to bring bagels to whom? Um, it used to be tradition in Poland that they would bring them to um, pregnant ladies. Oh, which I wasn't I'm not sure that. why. That's just what, <laughs> what I learned. Okay. Good to know. Uh, and there is a way to slice a bagel, right? Because yes. I usually take it and try and do it like yes. this. You, you can cut good. yourself. So okay. we have the no proof. None of our staff has ever gotten cut. Hand flat. All right. And start going cut this way. Cut halfway. Hold your hand flat. Yeah. And then in there. And then, then this way, the bagel. Oh, yeah. Don't put your thumbs like that. Okay. Still hands. Still hands up yeah. here. It okay. Fresh. And then finish. This way, right, Christine? Yeah, so our bagels, because it is bagels on southern soil and everything's bigger in Texas, 
these things. Um, <laughs> they are usually too big to put in the slicer, so you do have to hand slice them usually, but this way is easy and you won't get cut. And all the schmear, and one of the classic ways to do it, and I'm gonna doll mine up though, is with lox and cream cheese and yes. capers and onions and egg and yeah. tomatoes. So, so traditionally, um, bagels have all different kinds of cream cheeses. Now there's all different things you can put on them. But we're doing a lemon dill. At our shop, we do a lemon dill. And one of our specialties, you can take the plastic off there so yeah. we can show it. There we go. Is our own uh, cured and smoked salmon. We bring the salmon in and we do it ourselves at the shop. We hand slice it ourselves. Okay. But we made it easy for Mike, so we sliced yeah. it for Thank him you. and got right. everything. Well, I'm dialing this one up. You've got a couple of interesting ones over there, Jen. Yes, um, and those sandwiches look amazing, by the way. But yeah. we, um, I, I'm excited about this one because this yep. one has cauliflower. And yes, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to avoid a lot of the carbs here. But I've had the sandwich. Your husband made it when uh -huh. I went to visit one time. Do you want to talk about that one? So that's our cauliflower bagel. Um, um, so all bagels aren't uh, bad for you. And they aren't <laughs> bad for you if you eat them in in the appropriate uh, quantities. But this one is made of fresh cauliflower where we uh, extracted the juice out of the cauliflower and grinded it. And then it's mixed with a uh, coconut, rice flour, maybe a little soy. It also has mozzarella in it mm. and an egg to help bind it. So it is not dairy free, but it is lower in carb, high in protein, so it does satisfy those keto diets too. And, I, and I'm using a tofu schmear, but this yeah. one right here, guys, is my daughter's favorite. Look oh how, yeah, look how beautiful Kids that and is. Millennials love the uh, <laughs> <rainbow>. millennials. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we make them in all different. At Halloween, you'll see black and yes. orange, and um, probably Valentine's. You're going to see the Valentine's rainbows coming out. But you have 18 to 20 different. Yeah, we usually do uh, about 18 to 20. different different kinds of schmear. My husband gets a little crazy and <laughs> all of a sudden I look in our case and wonder what that is. Um, so there's always something different, sweet or savory. Because you have a big potato here. Ooh, yeah. Mike's got oh, his sandwich you ready. You did the sandwich. Hooray. This is just what <laughs> makes me happy. Okay, the interesting thing is you are a Culinary Institute of America trained yes. bakery chef. You've never baked a bagel in your life. Well, I actually trained in the regular program, okay. but then after graduation, I tended to go to desserts and I became pastry chef um, at different places. And uh, when we started this though, I have never made the bagels. My husband, who was more the savory chef, he makes the bagels, so we switch places a little bit. A I tried team. to roll them, I got fired. <laughs> Mike's done more than I have with the bagels, actually. Well, what and a is, great team y'all are. I tell you one thing, though, it, it is well worth it. I mean, all the effort that's put into it, they are delicious. All these great sandwiches, that Cuban, there's a little piece missing from it. <laughs> I wonder why. For the same reason, it is wonderful. Over there in the um, uh, Sunset Ridge, Yep, yep, Sunset Ridge, right by the McNay Museum. SALive.com for more information and go give them a visit and try some of these delicious bagels. Happy National Bagel Day. Oh, yeah. It is good. Okay, this is a long holiday weekend, of course. Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and designer Glitz and Glamour Spa and Salon is usually participating, of course, in Dream Week. Yes, last year I got to go out there and interview the Freedom Riders there at the salon, so I went back this year to see what they're doing, how they've adapted, and how they're still giving back to the community. See, it hits all of these parts. Gotta love it. We're your one-stop shop. We offer everything from head to toe, from cryo skin, which is our newest adventure, um, where you can freeze the fat and get rid of it. Our number one producer is hair, nails, makeup, uh, facials, massage. From head to toe, you can come in and be pampered. Liddell Coles and her husband opened Designer Glitz and Glamour back in 2007. The shop is all about making you feel beautiful. And then we do the Yoni steams facials. Well, there's actually some customers that we haven't seen come back, or we may even come in early for them or do a late appointment for them. So just being able to pamper and service our customers really means a big deal to us because they're like family. Um, some of the customers have been coming here since I've been open. So that's really, you know, huge to me and close to my heart because, you know, it's like not being able to see your mom or your brother. And with the pandemic, they have made changes. The salon is going the extra mile to sanitize and limit guests to remain safe. W 
people get scared and they're like, well, we don't want to come in, but we are really practicing safe. We take check temperatures and um, we wipe down everything, the doors, the handles, the restrooms, everything. Because everybody here, first time or not, is family. Well, we're right outside of Randolph Air Force Base and so we like to patronize the military. We're really big on that. We specialize in locks and braids and extensions and color. Um, so we can service all walks of life, children, uh, men, women, everyone. So everyone's welcome. We're like a big family. It doesn't matter what the skin texture is or color. And when you come here, you're not only supporting a black owned local business, they're returning the favor, giving back to the community, making this a safe place. And we are a African-American owned salon and spa. And with Black History Month coming up, we'd like you to come out and experience a day with Designer Glitz and Glamour, support your black owned businesses, support businesses in general, small businesses. This is Dream Week and we would have been hosting an event here with the Freedom Riders and different things going on. but. Because of COVID, everything's virtual this year, so we couldn't do that. Not your ordinary salon, huh? And guess what? They even have a reality show in the works. So we are in the middle of filming Glammed Up, which is our reality show. And so we do have on our website some little clips. Actually, the wedding that's on our website is some footage that will be a part of that show. I tried to get more details about this show, but Liddell tells me I have to wait and see. You will leave here with a smile. It doesn't matter. Everybody's at home here at Designer Glitz and Glamour. So on top of that, they're giving away some of their services for free. For Christmas, we did our give back where we did for 25 days, we gave something away every single day um, with the exceptions of weekends and holidays, of course. But we, the final gift was for us to give back to a deserving um, mother or, or a woman who could really experience what Designer Glitz and Glamour had to offer. And so we were looking for someone who would fit that bill and we found Emily. And so you'll get to meet her today. She is a wonderful woman who has a great story and um, she just fit the bill. And we wanted to show her and express to her, um, since the kid couldn't give it, we wanted to give it to her. And here's what she looked like when she walked in the salon. We'll see the transformation a little later in the show. Emily, what a beautiful person, soul, great heart, and she very much deserves this makeover. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. I love seeing these, these makeovers like yes, that. Yes. And if you'd like more information on designer glitz and glam, head over to salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. And like she was saying, support small local yes, businesses. Always. It is fantastic. All right. Still ahead on SA Live, are you normally telling your kids, put down the device, go get active? Well, maybe it's time to try something a little bit different. See the fun way phones and tablets can actually help your children get fit. But first, keeping the dream alive, Jada's helping us today. Yes, I am. We are talking all about how families and their children can keep the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King alive and be intentional about it in our everyday lives. Yep, that includes several crafts. That's coming up on SA Live. Yes. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, this Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and it's all about keeping the dream alive. Absolutely. And Jada Rashan from No Other Nanny joins us, and she's a lifestyle Hello. expert, just expert on everything, really. Jada, welcome. No. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. I'm so glad to be here. You are a nanny. Yes. And, and great with kids and everything like that. And yes. she brought such a simple but poignant example it's of yeah. look at this. You have two eggs. One's what? One's brown. Yep. Crack them open. You got the, the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> On the inside, I'm, I'm making I'm making a mess here, but and while you're doing that, we're illustrating. This is such a meaningful and impactful craft and activity that shows children how we all have our differences on the outside, but we are all the same on the inside, and that's why Martin Luther King was so passionate about us not being judging one another by the color of our skin, but by the content of our character. And so I just I love, love that, that simple activity. Yeah, it's, a, it's a great little Make some breakfast with your example. kids and start the conversation. Yeah. Let's have some eggs now. All right, <laughs> all right. And over here, yes. I really love this little idea here, Jada. Let's this, talk about this. Absolutely, this is inspired by his speech, I Have a Dream, is I Have a Dream speech. And this is a great way where we can sit down and listen to his speech, but also 
do this dream cloud craft where basically we can talk with each other and talk about our dreams. So have your little ones create, a, you cut out a little cloud shape for the kids and then ask them, what are your dreams? You have a dream that one day you'll be, I wrote on there, a doctor, yes. an actress, own a, and coffee you know, own a coffee shop. I love that dream. <laughs> so we can hang love that up. It. And it's so in line with the beginning of the year in our new year goals. And so just kind of reminding us that Martin Luther King didn't limit his dreams and we shouldn't either. And that's how we can keep his life and legacy. See and keep it hanging heart. all year long, right? Yes, I love exactly. that. Exactly. You know, and just in general, it's a great way um, to sit down because, you know, we always talk about so many times over the dinner table and, and having phones and everything like that, just to put everything down and just to chit chat exactly. with kids too. And to take it to consideration, like we wouldn't even be here today if it weren't for the dream that Martin Luther yes. King yeah. had. And that's just so important to yes. remember and teach our children. Yes. The last craft that we can do with our kids is called a world changers activity. Now, this is not too cute that I did, but you can add pictures and really sit down with your kids and ask them, how can we change the world? Because even the smallest act can make the biggest impact. So a couple things that I wrote on there is using my voice, giving back, standing up for what's right. I left some spaces for you, Mike, and to write things too. But you also <laughs> said maybe go through uh, either online or if magazine, something like that, almost make a collage. Yes, and you a can have picture. Because, yes. you know, activity. we're visual learners and yes. we can actually print those out and make a collage, almost like a, ch a, a world changer's dream board almost. Yes. And so we can keep ourselves in remembrance of we can be intentional in our everyday lives of making a change. And I think that's super important. Um, along with that, I brought some books for us to kind of share and mm -hmm. that we can, it te there's some books that teaches us about who Martin Luther King is mm -hmm. and who he was and also the importance about teaching, using the language that children can understand about anything as hard conversations like race and we can talk about what's going on today yes. and how we can make a change and be mindful of how far we've come, but how much more work there is still to be done. Yes, and all of these books, we'll try to get them on our website for you, by the way, if, uh, so you can you can look at that. And one thing we wanted to mention were these crayons, yes. which I hadn't seen. I'm gonna have to get some of these for my kids. There's markers and crayons, uh, mm -hmm. all different sketch. all shades. And I'm a, I'm a neutral fan, so that was like <laughs> what drew me in, but I just love that Crayola has taken an opportunity to be able to create a diverse and inclusive form of a set of colors and markers, crayons, and uh, colored pencils as well, too, that right. we can use when we are drawing our art. That's important. Wonderful. Well, as always, great ideas, yeah. and it is so wonderful seeing you Thank in the new you, year. Thank you, Mike. Right here. <laughs> like air hugs, right? And, I know. And, and look, look, she had beautiful new hairdo, too. So. Oh, he called me out there. <laughs> And for more information <laughs> on our dear friend Jada, nanny Love consultant and blogger, Jada Rashawn, go to our website, yep. salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA I'm Live work on tab. this this weekend with I my kids, Jada. I'm doing it today, too, after school yes. with my kiddos. Great ideas. Yep. <laughs> Thank All right, you, dear. still ahead on SA Live, a local woman gets an amazing day of pampering. Hear the touching story why she was selected and see her transformation. And speaking of makeovers, how about giving your home a new look? There's a big sale happening this weekend where you can snatch up some furniture for a steal. That's next on SA Live. Did you know that this weekend is a great time to buy furniture? And at Lazy Boy, you can get VIP treatment and really, really big savings. Joining us now is Jennifer Mutchink, who is a senior retail specialist with Lazy Boy. Good afternoon. You look very comfortable in the chair. I am. Thanks for having me. Okay, everybody loves a recliner kickback, Lazy Boy recliners, but you got a lot more than that, right? Absolutely. So when people hear the Lazy Boy brand, they always think of that iconic recliner. And today we have over 48 different styles of recliners for you to choose from. But that's not all we have. If you haven't been to a Lazy Boy furniture gallery lately, you have to come check us out. We have living room furniture, we have dining room furniture, bedroom furniture, and all kinds of accessories from tables and lamps, rugs, wall art, anything you could possibly need for your home we have. Okay, so you've got a big MLK weekend promotion starting today. What can people save on and how much can they save? So this is a really cool promotion to come and check out because it's one of the only times during the year where we are going to mark the entire store down 20% off. Everything that I just mentioned is going to be on sale, but you're also going to be able to find that Lazy Boy recliner starting at $2.99. We're going to have our sofa starting at $5.99. We also have some great financing, 0% interest for 48 months with a very low minimum payment. All right, everybody knows the, the name Lazy Boy, but what would be one thing that people really don't know about Lazy Boy? 
So here at Lazy Boy, our furniture is completely customizable. And this is something that's very unique to us. Not every furniture store is going to allow you to customize your furniture. So we have a design center that has over 900 leathers and fabrics for our customers to choose from. Take this recliner I'm sitting in, for example. This is one of our more traditional recliners and to customize it, we've put this beautiful top grain red leather on here. We've also added the nail head to really kind of go with that traditional styling. And again, this is something you can do in a Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery. You can create one of a kind pieces of furniture. We also have a free in-home design program. And so what that entails is we actually have interior designers here in our store, and they can help you make these design decisions. But they can also accompany you out to your house and really help you create beautiful rooms. They can help you with your living room, your bedroom, your dining room, your whole entire home. And it's totally affordable because it's a free service that we offer to our Lazy Boy customers. You have three locations here in San Antonio. What are your tips for shoppers this weekend? And go to lazyboy.com, go to your store locator, enter your zip code, and it'll tell you what location is closest to you. And as far as shopping this weekend, I just want to let everybody know, if you come into a Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery, your safety is our top priority. We are following all CDC guidelines. We're wearing our masks, we're social distancing, we're wiping down all of our countertops. Um, doing our daily health checks. So come check us out, but know that your safety and our employee safety is our top priority this weekend. All right, and head out to Lazy Boy for the MLK Day Sale at all three San Antonio locations. 20% off store-wide, $2.99 recliners and $5.99 sofas and financing for 48 months at 0% interest with a minimum purchase of $500. For more information, head to lazyboy.com slash San Antonio. Jennifer, nice chatting with you, so go ahead and recline now. Next on SA Live, make and work out an adventure. See the sneaky and fun way a new app is getting children moving and focusing on fitness. That's straight ahead. are focused on fitness right now and getting yourself to exercise is one thing but trying to get your kids to exercise is another and part of that is usually wanting them to put down their devices but maybe not so fast brooke jackson with rising wild joins us to talk about this new fitness how are you i'm good thank you so kids keep their devices in their hand tell us all about rising wild yeah, yeah. So Rising Wild is a new adventure and fitness program and virtual community for kids and families. And it combines a mobile app and a subscription box. Um, really, our mission is to get kids outside and moving their bodies more, using their imaginations, exploring the outdoors. Um, we want them to move freely and to use their imaginations because that's so important right now. Um, kids right now are so sedentary. Um, unfortunately, that was a trend before COVID. And now more so than ever, kids are just kind of at home, stuck at home with that activity programming canceled and their um, sports programming canceled. And so Rising Wild is a great product for families to naturally incorporate fitness and movement into their lifestyles um, and adventure. So I, I assume being kind of an adventure is sort of sneaking the fitness in. They don't know they're, they're actually exercising, right? Yeah, exactly. We like to make fitness really fun. Um, we've got these really fantastic outdoor themed heroes. Their names are Sage, Dawn, Sunshine, and Grit. And it's these heroes that help lead the adventure and fitness programming through the app. Um, and we tell stories through them of adventure and fitness to get kids excited about moving their bodies. But it's not just an app because you mentioned earlier about a subscription box. So what, uh, what do folks get sent to home? Right, so we have two products. Um, we have a digital subscription and a, um, a full subscription. And so the digital subscription gives you full access to the app, which is where you have events and challenges that unlock in the app each month and kids get points for all the work that they complete. If they achieve a thousand points in a given month for these events and challenges, they get uh, chances to win cool prizes from our sponsors. Um, if you get a full subscription, you receive a starter pack of cards um, in the mail, as well as um, each month you receive more fitness flashcards in the mail each month. So then what's an example of something? 
something that the families can all do together. So the events, they bring together um, a ton of different movements, really fun, silly kinds of movements to get kids and families really enjoying it. But the virtual events are worth more points in the app and they unlock each month. And so um, we're um, really trying to create that community that is unfortunately lost right now during COVID. With, uh, the virtual events through the app really kind of are a fun way to see the community in the app, um, as well as just getting the family together to move their bodies. So then I assume also it's tailored to young kids as well as older teens because whole two different types of activities for each, right? Right, exactly. So Rising Wild is really for kids ages 4 to 14 and their families who really want to work, work out together or for parents who just need another way to get their kids unplugged and moving their bodies more. Um, research shows that um, physical activity really starts to decline at age 7, and so we really feel that this product supports that age range, 7 and up, um, because if they're not a part of organized sports, this is a really fabulous product for those kids um, who, unfortunately, when they go home, they don't have as much... Um, opportunity. So it's a community that they can um, join to keep active and physically fit um, when they're off school. Sounds fascinating. Well, if you'd like more information on Rising Wild, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Brooke Jackson, thank you very much. Nice chatting with you. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Still ahead on SA Live, don't let another year go by without a vacation where you can find a new RV and travel in style and safety. And next on the show, a local salon gives a deserving woman a day of pampering. Hear why she was selected and the reveal of her amazing makeover. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. This is the part been waiting for earlier. We took the inside designer glitz and glamour up there in Universal City. Yes, the salon and spa is all about pampering, and they decided to treat a very special mom to a day of a head-to-toe makeover. Take a look. Lee was the winner of our Christmas giveaway. So she took on her brother's child who passed away recently. And so she, we were given her information by someone who thought she was the most deserving of this special day. So she's had her pedicure, her nails done. Um, and so now she is getting a wig installed that was handmade by Nicorian and she'll be installing it as well as doing her makeup as her final touches. So this is her special day. She's already got her nails and her feet done and then they've cleaned her face. And so now we're just gonna install a wig on her. And after I get done with the wig, we'll style it and everything. And then we'll go ahead and give her a full face of makeup, so. Well, this means so much to me because I'm, I'm always doing for everybody else and I never take time to do for myself. So we already cleaned her face. We had our esthetician um, add some of the products and got her all clean, so. And when they called me and told me about it, I was like, what? I, they nominated me and I was so grateful. If you can't tell by now, Emily's favorite color is purple. Once the eyeshadow foundation was on, time for lashes. And now it's time for the big reveal. There you go, man. Oh my God. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A whole new woman, huh? We just give and I just give to help other people because you know I never know where my life is going to end up. My hand's going to be in somebody else's hands. I never know. So I tell people all the time, you, you, you treat people the way you want to be treated. Like, I mean, it's just, it's just this view. I'm, I look so good. I look feel good, you know. Yeah. Makeover all the way, you know. I mean, like, I, now I got to go find, the, find out to do, do something today because I look so pretty. <laughs> the transformation, I loved her reaction. And then she called her daughter. She was FaceTiming her too, which I didn't get to include, but it was adorable. So very grateful for a very deserving person. SALive.com uh, for more if you want to book an appointment we have their website on ours. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Love stories like that. All right, switching gears, um, going from makeovers to vacations. Did you skip one this year? No, here's a good way to go on vacation. Hit the road in an RV. You can get a great deal. Take a look. Hmm. 
It is a travel trend that is sweeping the nation, going on a trip in an RV. And with spring break coming up, this is the perfect time to book your trip. And joining us today is Matt McConnell with San Antonio RV. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing very well. Okay, excellent time to book an RV for spring break. What do you have to offer for people that are looking and taking a trip in an RV? Well, you know, one of the biggest things we have to offer is, uh, is, is a good selection of new and pre-owned RVs. You can, you can find all that at SanTonioRVs.com. Uh, and what we're kind of most excited about is, is our new location uh, out in Spring Branch that's gonna offer that, that uh, RV to folks way out in that direction, the, you know, the Bernie, the Spring Branch, Bull Birdie, Stone Oak, all that area. Okay, so if somebody already has an RV, can they bring it to you to get it all ship shape, tuned up and ready to go? We can, and, and you know, it's so important. Before you hit the road, everybody wants the perfect vacation. They want the perfect uh, uh, thing to do. So what do you, you know, you don't want to have, you know, a tire blowout, or when you get there, you want to make sure your heater's working. You never know if it's going to snow in South Texas. Um, you, you want you want all those things working. So it's always a great idea to schedule an appointment, bring your RV in, let's, let's, you know, turn everything on, let's test it, let's check it out and make sure it's all good to go so that your vacation is the perfect dream vacation and not a, a living nightmare. Fantastic advice. Okay, no RV show this year. And the question is though, are you offering any special pricing? Oh, you know, absolutely. You know, the, it, due to the stuff going on with COVID, it just didn't make sense to get all those people out there. But the nice thing about an RV is is the safety because you can shop from, from at home, uh, as you can see, that's where I am now, and, and get on SanTonioRVs.com, pick out the right floor plan that's right for you and your family, uh, you know, uh, and, and right for your vehicle. Uh, uh, and, and then once you figure you've narrowed that down, you can come out, it's outdoors, we're gonna socially distance, we're gonna give you a lot, the opportunity to come in, look at the RV, check it out, and, uh, uh, and go from there. Okay, so somebody that's getting ready to take a trip and a family, what advice, especially if they've never done it before, what would be the, the main piece of advice you'd give them? You know, the main piece of advice is, 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 is uh, you know, have the right vehicle, and the, and the right RV. Um, you know, you don't want a too big of an RV for a small vehicle that can make it a tough, tough time. Uh, and you want you want enough beds to sleep everybody that you have. It's so important, you know, we're all different size families and we all need different uh, uh, RVs. So you really got to check into the different floor plans and see what works for everybody. That way you can all go out and have a good time. Sounds fantastic. Okay, well, if uh, you'd like to find out more about it, San Antonio RV is located in Seguin. And as Matt mentioned, they are opening a new location in Spring Branch. And if you'd like more information, just make sure to give them a call at 210-326-49, excuse me, 4957, that's 326-4957, or go to sanantonioRVs.com. Matt, great information. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, have a good day. Next on SA Live, making your golden years sparkle. How a local senior community is helping its residents have fun, be active, and stay independent. That's coming up. Have we got deals for you? Welcome to KSATDeals.com. You know, with my busy schedule, I really need a good night's sleep, and these bamboo sheets will definitely help with that. Take a look at how soft these are. The Comfort Luxury Sheet Set, it's 1,800 thread count. Feels like 100 bucks. Breathable, no matter what the Texas season is. The microfiber and bamboo help with that. They have a deep pocket for extra thick mattresses, and it helps to reduce allergens. They come in seven great colors including white gray aqua and silver you can grab a set for every bedroom in the house retail price is a hundred and nine dollars but the case at deals price is thirty two ninety nine that's a seventy percent discount now you can get this deal and many more at case at deals.com It is like home away from home for seniors. Morningside at the Meadows is San Antonio's premier continuing care senior living community. It's on the northwest side and close to the Texas Medical Center. And joining us to tell us more is marketing director Randy Stevens. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing really good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Okay, tell us all about uh, Morningside at the Meadows. How many people live there? What kind of care do you provide? 
Okay, so Morningside at the Meadows is a full CCRC, which is a, a full service campus. We offer cottage living and independent living. We have assisted living and then we have skilled nursing and rehab. What other okay. kind of amenities along with that do you offer? Sure, so we offer uh, three meals a day in the dining room and we offer all of the apartments come with telephone line, cable TV, uh, Wi-Fi, an emergency pool cord system. We offer a wide variety of activities and church services. We have transportation. So we take care of all of their needs and all of our rates are all inclusive. So there's no additional charges. So with all those wonderful amenities, how much does it cost to live there? So we have a one bedroom apartment in independent living that starts at $2,500 a month. And then we have all the way up to a two bedroom, two bath with a washer and dryer. And that's at about $3,600 a month, all inclusive. Okay, so what are the benefits of living in a community like this, especially with all the, the COVID pandemic going on? Oh gosh, Mike, there's so many benefits to living here. You have your socialization, interacting with uh, age appropriate people, you establish new friendships and, and enjoying all the amenities. Over the last few years, we've seen a real increase in younger people moving in and Quite frankly, I think they just enjoy the amenities and the socialization is a big part. We offer fabulous food. We have happy hour every Friday, fresh home cooked meals that are offered in our beautiful dining room. And the nice thing about it too, if folks need help for something, they don't have to wait. Their help is basically right there, right? Absolutely. We are, the front desk is staffed 24 hours a day. And, you know, we have a full housekeeping department, a full maintenance department. Uh, we have um, a, full, a full staff of employees that are always here to help and be it there uh, ready whenever we need something. All right, well, if you'd like more information on Morningside at the Meadows and Morningside Ministries, visit mmliving.org or give them a call at 210-734-1155. Randy, great information. Nice chatting with you. Great, thank you, Mike. Take care. Monday on SA Live, a local family-owned barbecue joint on the east side is serving up an incredible menu and shares a heartwarming story about community. I would go down by Haven for Hope and I would pass out my card and say, if you know, if God, if you really want to change your life, give me a call. And then the call started coming. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, where am I going to put these people? <laughs> Plus, she spends her days helping the homeless and her nights hanging out with superstars. Hear the incredible story of a local woman doing great things in the Alamo City. Tune in Monday, 1 o'clock, right here on SA Live for all things MLK Day. And a fun fact before we let you go, today is actually Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. He would have been 92 years old. And of course, the holiday is Monday, long holiday weekend. Have a safe and wonderful weekend, everybody. We will see you on Monday.